Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Dark with DLD After Dark. We have a very exciting video today. I told y'all that I would paint the P80s for the uh, giveaway, so we about to get it in. Now, y'all know I am like super duper uh, fancy with my tools here, so I, I got a motherfucking kebab stick and uh, completely uh, washed and dried this with uh, Dawn. Uh, and you could use any degreaser. Uh, gun scrubber, which is a butane based uh, degreaser, solvents, all sorts of shit. Okay, so the most important uh, part of the process here is get yourself one, just kidding. Uh, all right, so what we have here is um, rubbing alcohol, and we have a, a little plasticky thing thing of just regular water, uh, and then we have our black rattle can, okay? Now, this is just uh, traditional uh, matte black, uh, ultra matte, uh, and then you can use anything like a cloth, uh, you know, something to wipe it off, and I'll kind of show you guys what I mean by that. I'm going to try paper towels this time. Um, I guess, you know, you, you could um, get fibers from the paper towel all over the, uh, the build, but it should be good, so we're going to give that a shot. So basically what we have here is our water mixture. We're going to have about 60% um, water and then about 40% rubbing alcohol, maybe a little less. And that's, oh shit, I'm tripping. <laughs> there we go. So just enough on there. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, and I'll give that a little mix. A little mixy mix. Bloop, 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 bloop. So the reason is because you don't want it to be like straight up alcohol and water by itself is, you know, not very effective. So um, here's how we're gonna do this. Now you kind of have to do it with uh, two hands. So I'm gonna need to set the phone down so I can hold the item to uh, wipe it. So here we go. So effectively what we wanna do here is now that we've got the base coat on, that olive drab green, that foliage green. And I didn't tape this off or anything because honestly, it's an 80 and you know, the person that wins this is gonna be able to do whatever they want to it. They can file, finish, whatever. Um, and, and we're not applying much. Um, we can do a lot of sanding afterwards. So you'll see what I mean, it'll look great. So um, I have not touched this in uh, several days and I've already cooked it on to cure it to the polymer. So it's, uh, it's a damn good paint job. Not to toot my own horn, I'm just saying it's good. Completely free of oils, uh, completely you know, uh, clean surface and uh, really good adhesion with the paint and then it was uh, cooked on. Now, the second layer you don't wanna cook on, but here's what we wanna do. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our black and we want to hose it down with the black, take your cloth or your paper towels or whatever you're using and dip it in the solution and then wipe it with the solution, okay? And I'll give you guys um, a good example. You also don't wanna leave the black sitting on it too, too long. So you wanna be able to wipe it pretty quickly. So I'll show you guys what I mean, okay? My super clean fence here. All right, so I'm going to hold it by this side and then I'll do the rear side first, okay? All right, so that's a lot. Then I'm gonna wipe it off like that. 
Got holes. Oh yeah, the fibers are already coming off the uh, paper towel. So let's see. I mean, I, I want it to adhere, but I also don't want to over over bleak in it. Do the bottom. Kind of get a wipe there. go Put in the front there so you can always remove black in the sanding process you can't add green <laughs> in the sanding process so just be mindful of that. Adding too much black is not a big deal. So going over this. Oh yeah. Oh, that's dope. That's freaking dope, mate. keeping these because you can keep reusing them over and over. So I'm going to get this side now. Oh, whoops. I kind of already did. <laughs> so I'll get that side. Whoop. And I'll wipe that. Get a little bit inside, but you don't want to take off too much. Damn, you probably can't make the color out on uh, on camera, but that shit's legitness. All right, let me come back with the black again. Hose, hose, hose. Oh yeah. Get it all over my hands. It's kind of expected, I guess. Maybe a little too much there. Yeah, I can wipe that shit. Yeah, see, it's basically like already dried. That's the craziest thing is that like when you thin the paint out and um, I know you probably can't see it all, but I don't want to get the dripping stuff all over my stuff um, here so I'll come back to that nice Nice, really good coloring on that. Yeah, when we sand it, it's gonna bring that color out really well. It's gonna brighten it up a lot. So 
Let's do, where did I miss? I guess you could do that, but there's not really a, a point in We're good. I think we're good, y'all. Damn, that's still, you probably can't see anything in there. It probably yeah, it just looks black in the camera. But once you see with the sanding and all that, it's gonna look fire, like hot fire. Oh yeah. down bam and then after it dries woo, we'll take it to the sanding and then that's where the real magic happens so let me see if I can dry my hand off get any I got spray paint on there yeah you can't really see the contrast of uh of how dark it is but once we get some sanding in there you'll see what i mean so um, yeah there we go just uh get ready y'all okay so after you've gotten a full in about 24 hours uh, letting the black dry you want to go through with uh, some sandpaper and what i use is the i thought i had a piece here with me where'd you go um, I use the 800 grit and just hit the areas that would traditionally have have wear, right? Then you can go back through and hit the, uh, the grips, like, I'm going to leave some intact on the grips, but, you know, maybe areas where, you know, fingerprints would be, areas where you would hit, like, the magazine release right there, um the bottom of the trigger guard where your fingers would be, you know, start hitting those natural areas first and then come hit like, I don't know if you, if you can really tell on camera, but all the flats, the lines, every single one of the lines has been hit to expose that color. Right? Now the first stroke usually removes the black and then the second actually kind of brightens up the base color. Otherwise, it's way too dark. Um, I also hit uh, right there underneath the uh, um, slide release, slide stop, and just you'll get a feel for it. Just sand to your liking, and it will be ready. Now, some lucky winner is going to win this in the uh, giveaway, and man, this thing will look fresh with. Uh, with the right slide and uh, barrel and set up on it. Yeah, see, there you go. It's hard to tell. It, it will never translate on camera like it does in person. Um, it also kind of has like more of a foliage green or stone look in person. So sand to your liking. I'm going to, I'm going to stop at this point for sanding and then let the person that gets it if they want to they can sand more off but you know i don't i don't want to remove more material than they want or more you know black than they want so yeah it still be uh, all up to you but super simple just two coats of paint and some sanding and boom you get yourself a battle worn 80 percenter and you can do this with anything mags you can do it with knives you can do it with ARs are super easy. You just grab the lower, the upper, the handguard. Keep everything else black. Super dope. So uh, let me know your thoughts. And uh, thanks for hanging out and watching the Battleborn Paint Yab.
I wish y'all could see it in person though, man. It just it doesn't it doesn't do it justice. You can kind of see it though. It kind of looks like it's got that stone color, man. It's dope, super dope. Yeah, this shit's gonna be fresh. So the next one is gonna be stainless silver uh, and battle worn. So that's gonna be it's gonna have way more contrast. Just wanted to show y'all real quick. So this is what I'm using for sanding. I use the 800 grit paper. We use the um, the red sanding pads, but I also just picked up some of the um, uh, green. What's that brand? The green kitchen scrubbing stuff, uh, like Scotch Brite, and those pads work uh, really well. So any three of these are going to be great. The the green uh, Scotch Brite may remove a little more material than you want, though. So just be aware of that. I found that the 800 grit paper works the best. So, good luck. Good luck with that. Battle worn. Again, thanks for hanging out, y'all. I appreciate you. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, cast it onto a TV, share it with your friends, share it with your ma, and uh, yeah. From the whole DLD fam, from the Dilders Builders Nation. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see y'all. Peace.